the other story was obviously a very important exhibition um, and I went down to Hayward to see it. It did come to Manchester but I don't recall going there. I think it's perhaps Perhaps because I'd seen it in London, I didn't feel the need to, but I, I probably should have done just to see how it was contextualised in a different different space. Um, so there was a lot of anticipation. It seemed like, you know, finally, um, you know, this work was being um, considered in very serious, a very serious way th in a, in a, a very ma mainstream um, venue in London um, with a big budget, etc., and serious catalogue and all that stuff. Um, so, so it was important, and I think whatever we th think now about it, was ex it excluded women, it excluded a certain type of work, it excluded a lot of younger generation of artists. It was still an incredibly important um, moment, I think, in the history of, of, of black artists in this country. Uh, Eddie Chambers' work, Destruction of the National Front, um, was incredibly important in that, in that show. It's a very simple piece um, of four images of the, the Union flag, the Union Jack, as we tend to call it, um, being fragmented. And in the, and in the centre of it, the, the cross becomes a swastika. So it's very much a sort of John Hartfield-type um, deconstruction of a political uh, emblem to reveal its true nature. And it was very provocative to sort of say, very explicitly, this, this flag embodies um, racism or fascism. And to have that in a, in a mainstream gallery like that <coughs> was a very important um, piece of work. And it sort of showed there was a, this other generation. I think but the other story almost said, this is stage one. And the next chapter, if you like, is going to be, it would need to be this younger generation, um, which didn't really happen, not, not in terms of a, of a comparable show at the, um, at the Hayward or, or e any of those large London venues, certainly not at the Tate. You know, places where, where you'd see it now, in those, that, that, those days, those types of shows would not be anywhere near the Tate at all. Um, I mean, it was a very sophisticated piece of work, and, and I, I think, um, I don't know whether Eddie was looking at John Hartfield, you know, the, the, the pioneer of photomontage in Germany in the 20s and 30s, but certainly, it, to me, it felt that there was a, um, a connection there, um, you know, to try and unpick an image in a very, um, in a way that was going to shock you, I suppose, and we wouldn't be shocked now about by it. But then to equate the Union Jack with the swastika was very provocative. And interestingly, Eddie, Eddie continued with working with flags in, in several ways. There was a show he did at the in Manchester called The Image Employed. There was a, the piece at the, uh, in Manchester, anyway, at the Corner House, which Eddie had a few years later, called the The State of Israel Must Die. Now you can't really be <laughs> more provocative than that. And it had the sort of Israeli flag in it and so on. Um, but Ed, Eddie, in a more subtle way, used, used the flag here for a project which we weren't involved in, but it was another organisation many years later, where it was taking over flagpoles in the city and artists were invited to make a flag for the 200-odd flagpoles that are empty in Liverpool. And he did one which was on the town hall and you couldn't get more prominent than that. And it was the Union Jack in the colours of Rastafari. So it was, a, it was a very powerful piece and it lasted about half a day before somebody complained and it was taken down. Um, so I think those, those political interventions uh, was a very important aspect of, of that, that work and which you can relate directly back to people like Hartfield who were using their art in a very propagandistic way um, to, to, to uncover political um, realities. And I, and I think... Um, for me, that would be the piece that stood out, simply because it, was, it, it said, look, this, this is another generation, and it's not going to be about... Uh, it's not always that subtle, <laughs> what we're going to say. Because a lot of the work in that show was, was you know, quite rightly, it was showing um, British-based black artists who have been, been engaging with modernism for a long time uh, through abstraction and conceptual work. Um, but the political stuff that was saying this is about today in the late 80s in Britain, this is important work. And I think for me that was the, um, the stepping off point. It was late because it should have happened much earlier, but it, was, it did happen.